the sinking of these subs is the real puzzle in and of itself because we've got some declassified documents that say that the Navy sank 24 submarines, Japanese submarines. But we really don't know if they did or if they just said they put them someplace and then they sank them someplace else. That, coupled with the fact that this is the largest collection of World War II Japanese submarines anywhere, um, well, that's more than enough reason to go and have a look at it. Brett Fanoff has traveled 5,000 miles with a ton of equipment to be the first to investigate this mystery. But what really intrigues me is why nobody knows about this, why it's never talked about, why it was hidden for so long. That's what doesn't make any sense. And so maybe by looking at the subs, we'll get an answer to that question.